are you auditioning for? Okay. And then Sarah will read. Okay. Uh, you, you have me uh, read for two people. So who do you want to read? Steven, Ronald, and Samuel. Samuel. Yes. You can read for either one of them first. However you want to do it. You just okay. tell us which one you I'll want to do. I'll read for Samuel since that one is there. Okay. Yeah. So name, slate name. Slate your name and which part you are auditioning right. for. Hello, my name is Jonathan Lamar, and I am reading for Samuel. Red, are y'all ready? You reading for Samuel? Yeah, Samuel first. Yes, Samuel. Samuel first? Yeah. What page are you starting on? I'm on page six. All right. So I'll read. Can we start at the top or? I'm going to start at the top. Yeah, with the, okay. In this country. Okay. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Ah, la, la, la. Stop being a dick. F you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? She ain't standing. Newsflash, Ronald. This isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's not you right. reading his part. He says he's doing Samuel. I'm reading for Samuel. Oh, okay. And then I'll read for him. And then Ronald. And you'll read for Ronald. Okay. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. <clears throat> I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Okay, let's pick up where we left off yesterday in Chapter 7. We started a discussion regarding the significance of the 14th Amendment. Uh, don't forget to answer the, chap the questions in the chapter review. There will be a quiz on Friday. You should have stayed in your cave. Ronald, Samuel, the counseling office. But I... I don't have all that far in the script. It's not what you sent me. Yeah, we, I just did him aside, so yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. okay, let's go ahead and do Ronald. Okay, okay. I'll do Ronald. So that starts on page six? Okay. Yes. Okay. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> oh, my bad. I forgot. Stop being a dick. Fuck you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Osa Fatima here won't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Newsflash, Ronald. This isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. Okay, let's pick up where we left off. Yesterday in Chapter 7, we started a discussion regarding... Oh, let's skip down. Let's skip, okay. Um, there will be a quiz on Friday. Okay. Because when we gave him the first half, said we Do that part one more time. Ronald. Ronald, okay. All right. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <coughs> oh, my bad. I forgot. Stop being a dick. Fuck you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Osa Fatima here won't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Newsflash, Ronald. This isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. I do. Okay. I work Monday through Saturdays, um, eight thirty to five thirty. But um, if if this opportunity goes well, I can see what I can do with my boss. Okay. Work okay. Out. Yeah, because most of the uh, filming is going to be um, probably a Saturday, Sunday. Okay. All day. It'll time. be an all day. Okay. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday, okay. Saturday kind of deal. Okay. Okay. Um. But yeah, okay. I'm I'm sure I can make it. You can work it. Work. Flexible. Okay. Absolutely. Do you have any? Okay. All right. So we're looking to um, make some decisions this week and get back to everybody as to kind of where we are in the process and, you know, yes, what the next steps are. Um, so you'll hear something from either me or my sister this week. No problem. Okay. No Thank problem. you so much for All coming right. out. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Whatever, brother. All right. Actually, yeah. All right. Seven okay. Do you want me to start there or just skip down to where Ms. Johnson starts? Skip down to where Ms. Johnson starts. Okay. All right, so what we want you to do, Jackie, is to slate your name and to the camera and the um, part that you're auditioning for. Mm -hmm. And then um, Sarah's going to read with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. My name is Jackie Lamar.
my name is Jacqueline Walsh and I'm auditioning for Miss Johnson. Good morning, Miss Johnson. May I see you in the hallway? Uh, let's put out our text, pull our textbooks, and let's pretend like we came to learn today. Um, that's an interesting shirt. You like? I can get you one. Uh, no. Um, no thanks. That won't be necessary. And who do we have here? Oh, um, this is Fatima Bashir. Nice to meet you, Fatima. She's a little bit shy. See. Fatima is from Iraq, but she's been in the States for about a year. She's been homeschooling, and her aunt thought it was time for her to, um, you know, look, I just want to make sure that the other students don't get brain. It's because of, well, you know. Oh, you mean because of her shoes? Oh, they look fine to me. <laughs> yes. Well, please give me a call or let me know if you have any problems. I'm sure we'll be fine, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Grab it. Grab that. Right. Walk in the hallway, poke your head in, and do it all over again. Jackie, give us two seconds before you. Okay. Just two seconds. Just she know, she, 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 and, and, uh, so anytime I have to interview them coming in there, it's always very rare because you know they tend to overact. You would like to give them. All right, go ahead, Jack. I'm Miss Johnson. Mm -hmm. May I speak to you in the hallway for a minute? Let's step in. Let's pull out our textbooks and at least pretend like we came to learn today. Now you stand up and walk away from me. That's an um, interesting shirt. You, you like it? I can get you one. Do that line again without the high pitch. That's an interesting shirt. Oh, you like it? I can get you one. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. And who do we have here? This is Fatima Bashir. Who is Fatima? Where's Fatima at? Do that on again. This that chair is Fatima. This chair is Fatima? Yeah. Okay. This is Fatima Bashir. Nice to meet you, Fatima. She's a little bit shy. I see. Fatima is from Iraq, but she has been in the States for a little over a year. And she was homeschooling, but her aunt thought it was time for her to. I want to make sure that she, the other students don't get brain any problems. Do that line again, but do it like you, you're telling the secret, like the team and not standing right there. The whole line? Or just line. Look, I just want to make sure. Okay. Look, I just want to make sure that the other students don't get brain any problems because of what? You know. Oh, because of her shoes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they look fine to me. Yes, well, please let me know if you have any problems. I'm sure we'll be fine. Right. I don't think he's gonna be any good with this because of spam. He's dead. I don't think he's gonna be this dead. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. I just wanna make sure. It's page four. The bottom of page four. Well, hers is a little bit different uh, because she has the oh, other. Oh, up here. Up here. Okay. Okay. I'm ready when y'all ready. Okay. Hi, I'm Melissa Henderson. I'm 32 years old. I'm reading for the part of Sarah. Hey. Oh, come on, Miss Reed. What did I tell you about cell phones in my class? But I need it in case of emergencies. I highly doubt you liking your own selfies on Instagram is considered an emergency. Don't worry, you can pick it up after school. In the meantime, let the team read along your textbook with you. Hey, girl. The headscarf is cute. Uh, thank you. Okay, then, Samuel. Yeah. Please do the honors and lead us in the pledge. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> oh, my bad. I forgot. Oh, no, no, no. Stop being a dick. If you, Sarah. You wish. What's that? Uh-huh. Stop being a dick. Uh-huh. No more. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Stop being a dick. If you, Sarah. You wish. Hey, Jesse. Jesse, something different. Pull your put that chair back. Back here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now sit down. Mm-hmm. You stand up. Okay. Stand oh, up yeah. by the door. Take 
microphone. in my class. But I need it in case of emergency. Uh, I highly doubt liking, uh, taking selfies on Instagram is considered uh, an emergency. But don't worry, you can pick it up after class. In the meantime, please let the team read off your textbook. Hey girl, that headscarf is cute. Thank you. Do that line again. to March. Okay. The first and second week of March. Is that going to be okay? First and second week in here. First and second week in here. Yeah, that's fine. Sarah is actually going to read with you. Okay. And you're auditioning for Ronald. Ronald? Okay. Are you doing Ronald and Samuel or just Ronald? Ronald. Okay. So whenever you're ready. My name is Eric Caffey and I'm reading for the role of Ronald. Okay. Please do the honors and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Stop being a dick. Fuck you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Oh, some. Fatima won't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. News slash Ronald, this isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. They will. Oh, he doesn't have the other page. Okay, okay. okay. Please do us the honors and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. In this country, stop right here. Walk out. And then we walk back in and sit down and then start on okay. Please do us the honors and lead us in the pledge. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Do that part again, but when you say please go on, stand up for everybody. Please do the honors and lead us in the pledge. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Yeah, but this time, when you say, after you stand, give it a second and look at it like, okay, she not standing. So right. Please do us the honor and, and uh, give us the pledge. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, yeah, this time, when you stand and take that pause, kind of lean in, like, in this country. Please do us the honors and lead us in the pledge. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Stop being a dick. Fuck you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Oh, some Fatima wants to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. New 
slash Ronald. This isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. So when you walk in and say, when she said, do this, the honors, stand, look over at her, take a beat, whisper to her. country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Do that out again and lean in a little bit closer to it. Okay. Like I'm whispering. But whisper loudly though. Okay. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Stop being a dick. Fuck you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Oh, some Fatima wants death for the Pledge of Allegiance. Newsflash Ronald, this isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. Okay. Um, are you um, available Mar and the first two weekends of March? Yes. You are? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we're having, we're finishing up auditions today at noon, so I will be making a decision this week, and so you'll hear from me or my assistant this week with next steps. Okay. okay. Where, where are you staying? Arlington. Arlington. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I know I'm tall and all, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, is she, is she, what's your role she's playing? Miss Reed. Okay, go ahead. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. My name is Hadia Miller, and I'm auditioning for the role of Miss Reed. I know this is all new and confusing, especially considering the circumstances. And I definitely know how it is being different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in, but I promise you'll get the hang of it. Okay? Okay. And I will definitely have a talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It will not happen again. Thank you. Now, I meant when I said in class, it is your right not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, but you have to understand the consequences. There are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight when it comes to that tradition, especially here in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Miss Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anyone would understand, it would be you. So, what exactly is that supposed to mean? I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered during evening prayer in a mosque in San Andreas by suicide bombing. Wow, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So that's what this is about. I understand no, now, ma'am. Wait, but I thought you said that... This is about the men, women, and children in my country murdered by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunes, and all the countless other minorities who have died at the hands of police. This is about the election of the hate monger who won on the premise of banning people like me from this country simply because my God is Allah. I'm, I'm not native. I, I'm not naive. 
I understand my small gesture won't change the world, but right here, right now, in this moment, it's all I have. And I won't allow Ronald, Samuel, or anyone else to take that away from me. I'm sorry, may I be excused? I'm late for geometry class. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Of course. Thank you. Oh, and Fatima? Ma'am. I'll have your textbook for you tomorrow. You're not messed up the movie. It started off a little shaky in the beginning, but then I you caught my rhythm. I caught my rhythm after that, so yeah. Oh, then you are okay. So, we're principal photography starts that first weekend in March. It's going to be first two weekends with nothing to shoot. Okay. So... I don't think you're gonna... I don't think y'all are gonna be up. I don't know. Who all might be? It for deep? Yeah. Um, I... I haven't heard anything for that. The last thing that I heard was they were looking for funding, but... I talked to a couple of days ago. what we'll have you to do today is to select your name okay. and what you're auditioning for to the camera and then Sarah will actually read with you okay okay so whenever you're ready I'm ready. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, my name is Ruby Rogado and I am auditioning for the role of Fatima Fatima, Fatima. <laughs> I said it several ways in my head <laughs> yeah it's okay um, are we reading on page nine um, I have page eight, eight. I was just thinking because she okay. had more dialogue. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think we'll start. Well, we can start. I mean, what do you, it's a, you want to start with nine? She has eight. 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 Mm -hmm. This is all new to you and can be a bit confusing. I especially know how it is being different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in. But I promise you'll get the hang of it, okay? Okay. And I will have a talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It won't happen again. Thank you. Now, I meant what I said in class. It's your right not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, but you have to understand there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight of the American flag especially in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Miss Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anyone would understand, it would be you. What is, what exactly is that supposed to mean? I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered during evening prayer in a mosque in Santa by suicide bombing. I am so sorry. I, I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So that's what this is about? I understand. No, ma'am. Then what? This is about the men, women, and children murdered in my country by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. 
This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, well, can Anthony. You just could you stand up? Uh huh. Could you stand sure. up? Sure. Could you two face each other? Uh -huh. Like, stay the face like two steps closer. Okay. Like, stare right at each other. Okay. Put your hands down by your sides. Okay. Groupies, is it? Yes. Take like half a step closer. Stare right at her. Does that feel uncomfortable to you, Ruby? No. Be honest. It's all right. That doesn't feel uncomfortable? No. You don't know her from a hole in the wall. Yeah, you have, you're evaluating what you're seeing. And not only that, usually like when two strangers like are in proximity to each other, there's a kind of barrier that you put up, a kind of discomfort. Mm -hmm. That's what Fatima is. That's what Fatima's feeling when she's having that conversation with, with Ms. Reed. Okay. Because right now, first of all, you don't know what she's calling you back over here for. All you want to <clears> do is get in and get out. This is your first day in the school where you're surrounded by people. Like me personally, I don't like people. I don't like, to me, this is uncomfortable. This is a large crowd to me. So you have a tendency to kind of back Push off. Away. Right. Okay. And that's what Fatima is feeling when she's having that conversation with, with uh, okay. Ms. Reed. So she's she's not um, like speaking as like uh, Generally, strongly. Once, once you get to that point where where she says, oh, that's what this is about. And then you say, I thought if anybody understood, you, you went from, you know, that whole fight or flight. You went from flight to fight to a certain extent. Because right now, you're like, first you want to get away because this is uncomfortable. Right. Then it's like, you embrace it because you want her to understand where you're coming from. So I want you to walk like you're walking towards the door. She's going to call you back over and I want you to do the whole thing again, okay? Okay. Stay standing or six or six. You, you can, that's your board, so you okay. can do whatever. Okay. And you walk like you walk towards the door and she calls you back over and give it a note again. So, so we're doing it like because she had called me to come to her desk, basically. Okay. Yeah, don't let her walk out. Oh, okay. I know we're starting right now. My bad. Okay, you want to start again? I'm sorry. If you start here, then walk back and I'll call you. First. Yeah, start right yeah, start here and walk to the door and I'll call you. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, girl. Fatima? Sit, please. May I see the note? I know this is all new to you, and it can be a bit confusing. I especially know how it is being different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in, but I promise you'll get the hang of it, okay? Okay. And I will have a talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It will not happen again. Thank you. Now, I meant what I said in class. It is your right not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. But you have to understand, there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight uh, to the American flag, especially in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Ms. Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anyone would understand, it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered in a mosque in Santa by a suicide bombing. I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So, that's what this is about. I understand. No, ma'am. Then what? This is about the men, woman, women, and children in my country murdered by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunez, and several other minorities who have died at the hands of police. This is about the election of a hate monger who won on the promise of banning people like me from this country simply because my God is Allah. I am not naive. I understand that my small gesture won't change the world. But right here, right now, 
in this moment. It's all I have, and I won't allow Ronald, Samuel, or anyone else to take that away from me. I'm sorry, may I be excused? I'm um, late for geometry class. Um, yeah, of course. Oh, uh, Fatima? Ma'am? I'll have your textbook for you tomorrow. Um, I will in February, and that's about it. Um, actually, at the end of this month, I'll be in Austin working on the Robert Rodriguez film set. But that's just really? at the end of this month. What, what, what's the film? It's the Battle Angel, I think it's called, something like that. Yeah, what you talking about. Yeah. So. Okay. You still on that one? You still doing that one? He's still doing it, yeah. Hmm. Cool. So, yeah, but um, I'm open on weekends. Okay. Okay, great. Um, so we will be making a decision this week. And um, so you'll hear from either myself or my assistant this week um, as okay. to what our next steps are. Okay. Okay. All right. Great all right. meeting you all. Thank you, you so you. much. Thank you so much yeah. for coming in. All right. Thank you. You have a different ethnic appearances that you can do. Are you able to do any accents? Um, I can do. A little bit of British, Texan, of course. Uh, I don't know what what are you looking for in particular. Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Yeah. Um, I mean, if I hear it, I can study it and I can present it to you. Okay. Can you do that? Can you kind of go study it and then maybe do a video, like, or either just an audio recording and maybe yeah. send it to us? Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. With you know, with the words from the from the script. Yeah. I'm trying to think of film. That would be excellent, because then I would know what you're like. Talhead. Talhead? Talhead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would, yeah. yeah, you could do that. That would be great. Okay, and then the same email? Yeah, the same email. Okay, all right. All right. Thank you. You don't know. Where did you find this book? Where did you find this book? Slate your name and what you're auditioning for, okay. and then Sarah is actually going to read with you today. Okay, so you know, you're I will speak to you when I'm walking out. I'm getting okay. ready. Yeah. So, whenever you're ready. <laughs> I'm Heather Elaine, and I am reading for Ms. Reed. Fatima. Um, so I'm sorry, can we shift the uh, position? To Switch. Oh, so you can. Okay, do you need to put it so we can see her face and get on that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh? stay home. Look, I know this is all new and a bit confusing for you, especially with the circumstances, but I especially know how it is being different, okay? I, I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in. I, I don't exactly fit in, but I promise you, you'll, you'll get the hang of it, okay? Um, and I will definitely talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It won't happen again. Thank you. Now, I meant what I said in class. It's your right 
not to stand in the Pledge of Allegiance, but you have to understand the consequences, okay? There are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight when it comes to that tradition, especially here in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Miss Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anybody would understand, I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered during evening prayer in a mosque in Santa's by suicide bombing. I, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So, so that's what this is about. I, no, I understand. No, ma'am. No, no, wait, wait. I, I this is about the men and women and children in my country murdered by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunez, and the countless other minorities who have died at the hands of police. This is about the election of a hate monger who won on the promise of banning people like me from, from this country simply because my God is Allah. I'm not naive. I understand my small gesture won't change the world, but right here, right now, in this moment, it's, it's all I have. And I won't allow Ronald or Samuel or anyone else to take that from me. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be excused. I'm late for geometry class. Um, yeah. Yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, 15 minutes, ma'am? I'll have your textbook. Especially, especially with the circumstances, but, you know, hang in there, you'll get the hang of it. And uh, I'll definitely be talking to those two young men about their little note. That will not happen again. Thank you. Okay? Okay, that's good. Thank you. You have those micro expressions and those gestures that just seem to be organic and not rehearsed. I hate watching films with people with glasses who every five seconds take off. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would drive you crazy. It was, it was just, it was organic. It was natural. So, I mean, plus we called you back. So, it was something the first time. So, right. I mean, you know. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, um, are you available um, for the first two weekends of March? Yes. Okay, so, okay, and you can, because I noticed on your thing you said Sunday evenings, it would be pretty, that, especially that first Sunday will probably be, it will, well, it will be an all-day shooting. Okay, if, if I can know ahead of time like that, then that's something I can work out. Okay. That's, okay. Usually, that's usually the day I'm in church, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so what we'll do um, is um, we will make a decision this week, and okay. you'll know by the end of this week, basically, oh, okay. you know, yay or nay. 
And so that way you can kind of plan accordingly, you know, for that for the weekend. Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, that gives me plenty of time. Okay. Okay. Plenty of time. Okay. All right. Well, if you have any questions or anything, you, you got my email and phone number, yes. so you can call me or whatever. But yeah, we'll we'll make a decision and I'll let you know something. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. So much. much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, he's just yeah, 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 he did that on you. purpose. He Brittany Blood, and I'm reading for the role of Miss Reed. Fatima. I'm oh, sorry, can you do that again and pretend like you're writing on the board and you know it's her wall Oh, sure. Especially know what it's like being different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in around here. But I promise, we get the hang of it, okay? I'm sorry, could you start on the top and project a little more for me? Yeah, sure. From the very, very, very top? Mm -hmm. I know this is all new and a bit confusing for you. I mean, I know what it's like to be different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in around here. But I promise you'll get the hang of it, okay? Okay. And I'll definitely have a talk with Robert and Samuel about the little note. It won't happen again. Thank you. Now, remember what I said to you in class. It is your right not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. But you do have to understand there are a lot of people who take offense to any conceived slight when it comes to the American flag, especially in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Miss Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anybody would understand, it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? <coughs> I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered during evening prayer at a mosque in the Santa by suicide bomb. children murdered by drone, drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunes, and the countless other minorities who have died at the hands of police. This is about the election of a hate monger who won on a promise of banning people like me from this country simply because my God is Allah. Sarah, when's the last time you cooked? That's the last time I cooked last night. What did you cook? Uh, chicken sliders. And Tell her about it. Uh, last night I made um, chicken, shredded chicken sliders with uh, like a beer sauce, with like adobo, chili peppers, and um, simmered in the sauce, and you shred it up, and you put it on those little Hawaiian rolls that are toasted, and then I made sweet potato fries. It's a good one. What about you, Brittany? When was the last thing you cooked? A bowl of cereal. <laughs> Let's pick up what we love all. Okay. Okay. 
I'm not naive. I understand my small gesture won't change the world, but right here, right now, in this moment, it's all I have. And I won't allow Ronald, Samuel, or anyone else to take that away from me. I'm sorry, may I be excused? I'm late for geometry class. Oh, yes, sure. Thank you. Fatima. Wait, when, when Sarah was telling you about what she could, what were you thinking about? It made me hungry. And I was like, this sounds so good. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what you did right there? You listened. Yeah. And you responded non verbally. Mm -hmm. The most important part of this dialogue between Fatima and Miss Reed is not only saying the line, but it's also listening. And there's this thing called empathy, which apparently I've been told I'm capable of, but I don't think that person. <laughs> I'll be told the same thing. So. Okay, well, you had to fake it for her. Yeah. So basically, Miss Reed, right there, it's all about the the nonverbal communication, nonverbal when she's talking to you. That's what's most important for that scene is that you listen because you're really trying to understand her and where she's coming from. Right. So let's take it from the child. I know that this is a little bit new to you and confusing. And I definitely know what it's like to be different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in. But I promise, we'll get the hang of it, okay? Okay. And I'll definitely have a talk with Samuel and Robert about that little note. It won't happen again. Thank you. Now, I remember what I said to you in class. You have every right not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, but you do have to understand there are a lot of people who take offense to any conceived slight when it comes to the American flag, especially in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Miss Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anybody would understand, it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered during evening prayer at a mosque in Santa's. Suicide bomber. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So that's what this is about. Look, I understand. I know, ma'am. Then what? This is about the men, women, and children in my country murdered by drone strikes and just written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunes, and the countless other minorities who died at the hands of police. This is about the election of a hate monger who won on the promise of banning people like me from this country simply because my God is Allah. I'm not naive. I understand my small gesture won't change the world, but right here, right now, in this moment, it's all I have. And I won't allow Ronald or Samuel or anyone else take that away from me. If I'm excused, I'm like the geometry class. Yeah. Fatima. I'll have your textbook for you tomorrow. So when we talk before these, were you working on a project? I have a project coming up. Um, I do, but they haven't given me like any dates on what we're gonna be shooting, so I you don't know me, I have no idea. Because we we're pretty much looking to film the first two weekends of March. Right okay. now. Do you think you should be okay with that? Yeah, it should be. And you're available all day, both, you know, Saturday and Sunday? I don't have a life, so 
so I mean, this is all I do, so. <laughs> it's all I do. Okay, okay. All right, so we will be making our final decisions this week. Okay. And um, so you will hear something by the end of the week. Okay. You know, either way, you'll hear something from me and my sister. Cool. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I comforted. Oh, no, no. <laughs> and I'm reading for the part of Ronald. Okay. Please do us the honors and lead us in the pledge. Um, in this country, uh, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> My bad. Uh, I forgot. Allah Akbar Fatimash. Stop being a dick. Fuck you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Uh, Osama Fatima won't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Newsflash Ronald, this isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. Okay, let's do that again. This okay. time I want you to step out, walk in, sit down. When she says, do the honors, that's when you stand. Cool. And the line where you're saying, in this country, we stand for the pledge. Give it a beat for a minute you stand and look over and acknowledge the fact that she hasn't stood in the court. No, you can leave the chair right there because I want you to sit right here. Okay, sit next to me. maybe walk in. Give it a beat, acknowledge, and then say, in this country, you stand. And I like the part where you did the a la thing. Okay. But then we're going to change that because I don't need no mother coming on my satin shoes and so on. But you got that, so that's good. So maybe you start to walk up, walk up. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, Samuel, please do us the honors and lead us in the pledge. And, um, in this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Allah Akbar Fatamish. Stop Fatamish. being a dick. Fuck you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Osama Fatima won't stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Newsflash, Ronald. This isn't North Korea. If she chooses not to stand, it's her right not to. Go ahead, Samuel. Okay. Have you done any film or is it all in theater? I've only done theater. I can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's good. It's not bad, but I, I can tell. Yeah, I've been. I actually about to graduate from college this coming semester, okay. and so now I'm going to jump into the theater throughout high school, college, yeah. and jump into film. So I'm not starting off in theater. Next, so Who doesn't? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. You have anything else? Mm -mm. So, um, Austin, are you available the first week yes. in March? Yes. Um, so first I, weekend? my actually school schedule is Monday through. So if I saw you guys at Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm available whenever in those dates because I'm not in class on those days. So. Okay, and you don't have any projects or anything that's coming up? I, I can work around whatever as far as school. I mean, I, I'm an English major, so you write a lot of papers, so you always have projects. Yeah. But um, I can work whenever. It's time to be. Okay. I don't I don't work. I'm just a student full time, so I'm pretty And you're in school at? I actually go to Texas Wesleyan, which is in Fort Worth, a small university. Okay. Okay. I do understand, I love the name, but I'm, as an English major, Harlem is actually my favorite area of study, so I just, I loved your name. But <laughs> <laughs> that was sort of like my idol, so it's a really good That's name. cool. Okay. All right, so we are going to make a decision this week, cool. because we need to start getting our, um, 
table reads and everything together. So you will hear from me or my assistant this week with, you know, kind of yay or nay, next steps, that kind of awesome. thing. Awesome. Okay? Sounds great. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. Nice to meet all of you guys. You too. You too. And that's Ronald, right? Yeah, we didn't even let him read for Samuel. Oh, okay. Yeah, if he can do Ronald, he can do Samuel. Samuel. Yeah, easy. Because Samuel don't have you in any real big lines. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The only thing for me, I was, if I had any kind of whatever it is, you look proper. Very proper. I was that's, that's, what, that's what I have about the same thing, because you can tell that's what he's Yeah, he's very, the very proper. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. you know, Do you think that it's coachable to get... To be able to talk like as in a, um, oh, like a mind, you know, just kind of, you know, kind of chill out and mellow out like yeah, it's it's everybody else. I mean, it's coachable. Well, it's always difficult with him. And even before I started learning, I can tell. Because he enunciated every yeah. word. Mm -hmm. yeah. And just their stance and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Well, you can tell Jacqueline on his own theater. Just one moment, we'll be ready for someone just to just come in. We have like three, four people. to the camera and then Sarah is actually going to read with you so whenever you're ready. Hi my name is Minette Coker and I will be reading the role of Fatima. Fatima? Are you reading the whole script or uh, starting page eight? Okay. Yeah I see the note. This is all new to you and can be a bit confusing. I especially know how it is being different. I don't exactly fit in. I mean, look at me. But you'll get the hang of it, I promise. Okay? Oh. Okay. And I will have a talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It will not happen again. Thank you. Now, I'm in a right side of class. It's your right not to stand for Pledge of Allegiance. But you have to understand there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight to the American flag, especially in Texas. I can think of a thing I can think of a far more important thing to take offense to Ms. Reed. With all due respect, I thought with if anyone would stand, it would be you. What exactly Just is that? Right for a second. You know how you came in, you were uh -huh. very bashful and soft spoken and pretty out of school. Uh -huh. You do the line, you less aggressive. Okay. Okay, so like to Miss Reed. With all due respect, I thought if anyone would understand, it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I was 13. My mother and father were murdered during evening prayer in a mosque in Santa A by a suicide bombing. I am so sorry. I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my auntie and uncle. So that's what this is about? No, ma'am. Then what? This? This is about the men and women and children in my country murdered in by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunes, and all the countless other minorities who have died at the hands of the police. This is about the election of a hate monger who won on the promise of banning people like me from this country simply because my God is Allah? I'm not naive. I understand my small gestures won't change the world right here, right now, in this moment. It's all I have. And I won't allow Ronald, Samuel, or anyone else to take that away from me. I'm sorry. May I be excused? I'm late for my geometry class. Yeah, of course. 
Thank you. Uh, Fatima? Ma'am? I'll have your textbook for you tomorrow. projects that you have that may, that may be coming up? Anything that you're current, uh, going to be working on within the next month or so? Um, I just have one. That's about it. But it's very sparse. And it's in the living school. So it's not like it's a very huge project. <laughs> okay. So will you be available um, the first two weekends of March? Are you doing anything that those two weekends? Oh, no. I'm available. You are? Yeah. Just okay. this is February. So. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, um, so what, I'm, what we will do is we are making decisions this week. Um, so you'll hear from us either way um, by the end of the week. Oh, right? I thought that was really cool. Did you like me when we started uh, to do her role and walking in on uh, ACI? Hi, good afternoon. My name is Amanda, and I'm auditioning for the role of Sarah in the movie Stand City. selfies on Instagram is considered an emergency. Don't worry, you can pick it up after school. In the meantime, please let Fatima read off uh, your textbook. Thank you. That's got this cute. Thank you. Okay then, Samuel, please do us the honors and lead us in the pledge. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> oh, my bad. I forgot. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Stop being a dick. F you, Sarah. You wish. What's the problem? Sarah just walks out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, we've moved in a little bit since the last time we were here. Are you available um, the first two weekends of March? Yes. You are? If you don't have any projects or anything that's coming up? No, ma'am. No. Okay. All right. Well, we are going to make our final decisions this week. You will hear something by Friday. Okay. Either way. Okay? Yes. So we'll let you know what the next steps are. Perfect. Okay. Y'all have fun. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> Your name and what you're auditioning for. Okay. And then um, Sarah will actually read with you. Okay. Okay. Let me just use the note. Hold on one second. You're starting at page eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. So once you pass the note, you can use this as the note. You're passing it to me, and you pass it to me. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. All right, go ahead. Kosha Jaiswal, and I am auditioning for Fatima. Okay. Fatima? Sit, please. May I 
see the notes? Look, I know this is all a bit new to you and confusing. I especially know how it is being different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in around here. But I promise you that the And I will have a talk with Samuel and Robert. And their little note, it won't happen again. Thank you. Now, about what I said in class, I meant it. You do not have to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. But you have to understand, there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight of the American flag, especially in Texas. With all due respect, Miss Reed, I, think, I can think of far more important things to take offense to. I thought if anyone would understand, it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I grew up in the mountains. Uh, sorry. I grew up in the mountains, Yemen's western province of Rima. I was only 13 when my mother and father were murdered in a mosque in Sana during evening prayer by a suicide bombing. I am so sorry. How could you? I was lucky. I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So that's what this is about? I. No, ma'am. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, and the countless number of African Americans who died at the hands of police. This is about the countless men, women, and children in my country who have, who have no names, murdered by drone strikes, and written off as collateral damage by the government. This is about the election of a demagogue to the highest office in the land. But most importantly, this is about me finally having a voice, and I have every intention of letting it be heard. I'm sorry. May I be excused? I'm late for my geometry class. Yes, of course. Uh, <coughs> thank you. Uh, I'll have your textbook for you tomorrow. Talk to her like you don't want to tell her. No aggression. No like, aggression. like you're whispering it to her, like you're telling her a secret, like you don't want anybody else around to hear what you're saying. No okay. aggression. So this is from so what I'm talking said, about. Like so that's what this is about? And then you say, no ma'am. And then she says, I, I don't understand. This is about. So all the yeah. words. So basically, you cut it in half. So just the end. No, no, no. We want to start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. Yeah. But yeah. just I'll call you over so okay. you take take the note with you. Fatima. Sit, please. May I see the note? I know this is all new to you, and it can be a bit confusing. I especially know how it is to be different. talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It won't happen again. Thank you. Now, I meant what I said in class. It is your right not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, but you have to understand there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived sight of the American flag, especially in Texas. With all due respect, Miss Reed, I can think of far more important things to take offense to. I just thought if anyone would understand that it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I grew up in the mountains, Yemen's western province of Rima. I was only 13 when my mother and father were murdered in a mosque in Sana by a suicide bombing. I'm so sorry, I, I didn't know. How could you? I was lucky, I was able to leave with my uncle and aunt. So, 
that's what this is about? No. I don't know. This is what? this is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, and the countless American African. Sorry, I lost that. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, and the countless African American men and women who have been murdered by the hands of police. This is about the countless men, women, and children in my country who have no names, murdered by drone strikes, and written off as collateral damage. This is about the election of the highest, of, of, a, de, of a demagogue to the highest office in the land. But most importantly, this is about me finally having a voice, and I have every intention of letting it be heard. I'm sorry, may I be excused? I'm late for my geometry. Did you take offense to anything that was written in the script? No. Okay. Y'all keep telling me when I just don't know what you mean. Um, you want to um, Are you Muslim? No. Are you Christian? I'm Hindu. 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 Yeah, okay. so he didn't say anything like that. I mean, he thought know, it was a great show. Yeah, but no, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he, he didn't take offense to yeah. anything. Okay, okay, great. Um, are you available um, the first two weekends of March? Do you have any projects or anything that no, you're working not on? As of now. Okay, so you think that you're available now and for an all day shooting? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I, my background is I'm a, I'm a Bollywood actress. So like I've done a feature film that was shot yeah. in uh, Europe, and then you know we went back to Bombay for dubbing and all what that. Was it like? Rhythm, rhythm. And it was just like released all over India, like a well, theatrical. Was it in the video? Maybe. We have to lip sync and dance and everything. Yeah, because <laughs> you were singing and dance. Well, yeah, in one of the videos, wait, was that you actually singing? Was that your voice? No. no. Okay, you were lip syncing. Yeah. Bollywood is all about lip syncing and <laughs> dancing. Who was the director? Vivek Kumar. So, I mean, I'm used to um, shooting 18 hours, 26 hours straight with everything, like dancing and everything, like acting, all that. So, um, what, what role is she going for? Miss Johnson? Yeah, she's going to slay, yeah, Miss Johnson. Miss Johnson, okay, she's a Miss Johnson. I didn't know if she was going to have to walk out the door, so I know if I need to change positions. Change positions, yeah. I think she's going to sit initially. Okay, so she do it. go ahead. And I'm ready. Hi, I'm Nicole Holt. I'm reading for the part of Miss Johnson. Good morning, Ms. Johnson. May I speak to you in the hallway? Uh, let's pull out our textbooks and at least pretend like we came to learn today. That's an interesting shirt. You like? I can get you one. No, that is not necessary. And who do we have here? Oh, um, sorry, this is Fatima Bashir. Nice to meet you, Fatima. So Fatima is from Iraq, and she's been here a little bit over a year now. She's been homeschooled, but her aunt thinks that it's time for her to 
just want to make sure that the other students don't pick on her because, well, you know. Oh, you mean because of her shoes? They look fine to me. Well, yes. Uh, just let me know, please, if there are any problems. I'm sure we'll be fine, right? came to us from Iraq. She's been in the United States for about a year now. She has been homeschooled and Diane thinks it's time to, you know, I just want to make sure that the other students don't give her a hard time because, you know. Uh, you mean because of her shoes? Oh, they look fine to me. Well, yes. Please just let me know if there are any problems. I'm sure we'll be fine, right? Not during the time frame now. I have one on the 21st of January, and that's it. And that's it? Okay. Okay, great. All right, so we are... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Malcolm. Hey, Malcolm. He's the director and writer. And Sarah. Hi. And she's going to be reading you. with you, and then our DP is Cordero. Hello again. <laughs> um, so, Crystal, what we'll have you to do is to slate your name and what you're auditioning for to the camera, and then Sarah will actually start reading you. Okay. Okay, okay great. So whenever you're ready. I'm ready. Hi, I'm Crystal Gaddis, and I'm reading for the role of Mrs. Johnson. Good morning, Ms. Johnson. Uh, please, uh, I need to see you in the hallway. Uh, let's pull out our textbooks and at least pretend like we came to learn today. Uh, that's an interesting shirt that you're wearing. You like it? I can get you one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's not necessary. Um, uh, let's uh, let me introduce you here. Uh, this is uh, uh, Fatima Bashir. Uh, nice to meet you, Fatima. <laughs> um, no, she's a bit shy. Uh, uh, Fatima, it looks like here you are. You're from. I, she's from Iraq. Um, she's been here for a year, and um, she was being homeschooled. But it looks like her family wants her to go ahead and go to school uh, now. Um, I just. I kind of wanted to talk to you and make sure that, you know, every, everything was going to be okay. Oh, oh, you mean because of her shoes? They look fine to me. You know. I'm sure we'll be fine, right? Yes, I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine. Just please let me know. Okay, 
are you available, Crystal, um, the weekend of the first two weekends of March? Yes, yeah. I can. I, I have an eight to five Monday to Friday, so evenings and weekends are totally okay. And do you have any projects or anything that you're currently working on? Nope, nothing right now. Nothing. Okay. All right. Until so. summer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, so we're going to make our decisions this week. Okay. Um, and so you'll hear something from us either way. All right. Thank okay. You Thank you so much. That yeah. was a great audition. Thanks. Thank <laughs> Appreciate it. Bye. And then um, you can just start reading, and Sarah's actually going to read with you, okay? Can I just use a script on my phone? Sure, however you want to do it, it's fine. It's the same one that was sent out. Yeah, okay. we haven't made any changes yet. <laughs> and where will we start? Page 8. Elizabeth Thresher auditioning for the role of Fatima. Uh, Fatima? Can you sit, please? May I see the note? Look, I know this is all new and it can be a bit confusing, and I especially know how it is being different. I mean, look at me, I don't exactly fit in, but I promise you to behave. Okay. And I will have a talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It will not happen again. Thank you. Now, I meant what I said in class. It is your right not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, but you have to understand there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight to the American flag, especially in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Mystery, with all due respect. I thought if anyone would understand, it would be you. What is that supposed to mean exactly? I was 13 when my mother and father were killed during evening prayer in a mosque in Sana by a suicide bombing. I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So that's what this is about. I... No, ma'am. Then what? This is about the men, women, and children in my country who were murdered by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin and Sandra Bland and Anthony Nunes and countless minorities who were murdered by the hands of police. This is about the election of a hate monger who was voted into office based on the promise of banning people like me from the country just because my God is Allah. Look, I'm not naive. I know my small gesture isn't going to change the world, but Right here, right now, in this moment, it's all I have, and I'm not going to let Samuel or Ronald or anybody else take that away from me. I'm sorry, can I be excused? I'm, I'm late for geometry. Yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, Fatima? Yes, ma'am. I'll have your textbook for you next class. Okay, and so you said you, you can, if given notice, you'll be able to work it out with your current show, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we're going to make decisions this week, okay. and you will hear something later than Friday. Okay. Are you ready? Um, and I'm ready. Okay, you can start doing some reading. Okay, Nicole Carruthers, reading for Miss Reed. Fatima, sit please. May I see the note? Look, 
I know this is all new to you, and it, it can be a bit confusing. I especially know how it is being different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in, but I promise you, you get the hang of it, okay? Okay. And I will have a talk with Samuel and Robert about their little note. It won't happen again. Thank you. Now, I meant what I said in class. She'll write not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. But you have to understand, there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight of the American flag, especially in Texas. I could think of far more important things to take offense to, Miss Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anyone would understand, it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered during evening prayer in a mosque in Santa by a suicide bomber. I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So that's what this is about? I understand. No, ma'am. Then what? This is about the men, women, and children in my country murdered by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunez, and the countless other minorities who have died at the hands of police. This is about the election of a hate monger who won on the promise of banning people like me from this country simply because my God is Allah. I'm not Maggie. I understand my small gesture won't change the world. But right here, right now, in this moment, that's all I have. And I won't allow Ronald or Samuel or anyone else to take that from me. I'm sorry, may I be excused? I'm late for geometry class. Uh, oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Oh, Fatima, ma'am, I'll have your textbooks for you tomorrow. Nicole, are you um, available um, the first two weekends of March? Yes. Do you have any projects, anything you're currently working on? No, not for March. Not for March. Not for March. Okay. Because it'll be it will be an all day all day film. Mm -hmm. Are you filming on Saturdays and Sundays? Or? Yeah, it'll okay. be Saturday Sunday. So that's perfect for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. So we are making our final decisions this week. Okay. And uh, you will hear from us either way by Friday, later than Friday. Okay. Thank you for the opportunity. Okay. Thank you. And good luck so with your project. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Rainia Powell, reading for the role, <clears throat> excuse me, the role of Mrs. Johnson. Good morning, Mrs. Johnson. May I see you in the hallway? Let's go our textbooks. And let's at least pretend like we came around today. Hmm. That's an um, interesting t-shirt. You like? I can get you one. Uh, no, that's okay. And who do we have here? Uh, I'm sorry, this is Fatima Brashear. Nice to meet you, Fatima. Oh, she's kind of shy. I see. Um, Fatima is from my lab, but um, she's been in the States for a little while. Um, she was being homeschooled, but her aunt felt that it was a little time for her to... Um, I just want to make sure that the other students don't bother her uh, because of the uh, youth. Oh, you mean her shoes? They look fine to me. Yes, well. Please just let me know if you have any problems. Well, I'm sure we'll be fine. We're right. Um, right, who's on? Renita? Renita. Okay. Um, Renita, are you available? We in that thing. All right, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Um, my name is Jessica Willis, and I'm auditioning for Sarah. Come on, Mrs. Reed. What if I tell you about having problems in my class? But... I need it. Like, for 
emergencies, I highly doubt you liking your own selfies on Instagram. It's considered an emergency. Don't worry, you can pick it up after school. In the meantime, let the team like read after you and your book. We stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Stop being a... Oh, oh. Dude, dude, seriously, stop being a dick, okay? <sighs> Fuck you, Sarah. Yeah, you wish. Immediately. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna this down. That show is. <sighs> Come on, Mrs. Reed. What did I tell you about having fun in my classroom? is considered an emergency. Don't worry, you can have it back in after class. But in the meantime, let the team read after you in your textbook. Hey, girl, I, I like your headscarf. It's really cute. Thank you. Okay then, Samuel. Yeah, please don't honor lead us in the pledge. In this country, we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, my bad, I forgot. Dude, seriously, stop being a dick. Fuck okay. you, Sarah. Yeah, you wish. My name is China Dela Cruz, and I am reading the part of Miss Reed. Okay. I just sent you the whole script so you can kind of get the context. Yeah, I was she was going to see with the promo. So I'm like, oh, the paper and everything. She got the whole paper and everything. I just wanted anybody to call back to get context of the fourth story to understand the character so you can kind of. But that's good, though. I mean, yeah, you was an hour late, but still. At least you're prepared, right? Right, yes. It was worth that. So we're going to start from the part where Fatima is walking out of the car. Like what you did before. Yeah, what you did before. Okay, okay. The 
Fatima. Sit, please. May I see the note? Pretty rough first day, huh? Look, I know this is all new. And it can be a bit confusing, too. I especially know how it is being different. Okay, stop right there. Let's start from the top again. This time, be at the board and you need to act as well. Okay. Stay home. Chai, when was the last time you cooked dinner? Like three days ago. <laughs> what did you cook? I cooked just some ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, with chicken in it. Mm -hmm. You know, had to spice it on up. <laughs> you from Atlanta, right? Yeah. How long you been here? I've been here for about two years. Two years? You almost. Like it? Hmm. You like it here? It's okay. It's okay? You know, minus the... Yeah. Okay. You know. Go ahead and pick up when y'all left off. Pretty rough first day, huh? Look, I know this is all new to you. And it could be a bit confusing. I especially know how it is being different. I mean, look at me. I don't exactly fit in. But I promise, you'll get the hang of it. Okay? Now, I will have a talk with Sammy and Robert about their little note. It won't happen again. Now, I meant what I said in class. It's your right to not stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. But you have to understand, there are a lot of people who take strong offense to any conceived slight of the American flag. Especially in Texas. I can think of far more important things to take offense to, Miss Reed, with all due respect. I thought if anybody would understand, it would be you. What exactly is that supposed to mean? I was 13 when my mother and father were murdered during the evening prayer in the mosque by Santa, by Santa Ann and by a suicide bombing. Um, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Luckily, I was able to leave with my aunt and uncle. So that's what this is about? I understand. No, ma'am. Then what? This is about the men, women, and children in my country murdered by drone strikes and written off as collateral damage. This is about Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Anthony Nunes, and the countless other minorities who have died at the hands of the police. This is about the election of a hate monger who won on the promise of banning people like me from this country, simply because my God is Allah. I'm not naive. I understand my small gesture won't change the world, but right here, right now, in this moment, it's all I have, and I won't let Ronald, Samuel, or anyone else take that away from me. I'm sorry. Um, may I be excused? I'm late for geometry class. Uh, yeah, of course. Thank you. Oh, Fatima? Yeah? I'll have your textbook for you tomorrow. Tell us a story about 
something. About About something. Uh, What's your worst experience that you may have? My worst experience <laughs> is having to share a car. That's my worst experience being here. Me and my husband have to share my car because he has been broke for the past six months. And <laughs> with the kind of job he has and then the kind of job I have, it sometimes can be kind of rocky. So You work with old people, right? Yes. Yeah. You like that? I mean, it's rewarding, you know. What's rewarding about it? You know, I mean, when you have a heart of compassion for people in general, you know, it's it's an easy job. It ain't stressful or nothing like that. Do you have a favorite person there that you look forward to seeing when you go there every day? Uh, yes, Mr. Arley. Why? No, uh, because uh, reading about his social history and stuff, he was a part of Martin Luther King. Uh, you know, as far as the the uh, walks and stuff that they did, and mm -hmm. you know, he was also uh, and he he was. Uh, what they call them people, a sergeant um, in the Navy. And uh, he also did a lot of charity work for the church and stuff like that. So I think that alone is what made me, uh, when it comes to taking care of him, have a lot more favor for him because of his background. And, and at one point I was always thinking all, all of them had that kind of side to them as far as being racist. But then working with a few of the other people besides Mr. Arley, it's like, oh man, not every white person was, excuse me, was, you know, racist. They did take up, you know, for people like us, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. I don't have anything else for you. You have any questions? Um, we have moved it. weekends? Sometimes it varies. Okay, but like it's like four on, two off, so I have to count my four days that I have to work and mm -hmm. then the two days that I'll be off. Okay. But if you need, if it fails on that, will you be able to kind of make arrangements if need be? Yeah. I mean, they, my schedule is pretty flexible. Okay. Their thing is, as long as we let them know like ahead of time, because they know this is what I do outside of work. Mm -hmm. So as long as we let them know at least 30 days in advance, this is what's going to be happening with me, blah, 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 blah. You should be. Yeah. You should be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay. And are you working on any other projects or anything at this time? 